Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away If you can use some exotic booze Hey, this is Wine in the City. I'm here in uh, Chiswick with Neil Dixon, um, an English actor who's worked with everyone from uh, James Mason to Ava Gardner. Uh, he is best known probably for his performance as uh, Biggles uh, in the Biggles film. Um, but he's also recently been in Mad Men and he's got a big passion for wine. So, uh, Neil, how did your passion uh, develop and start? It developed, um, I tell you, it developed when I was at drama school, um, at the Guildhall School. and. Everybody was going to the pub every night, and there was only beer, except this one pub we used to go to sold a French wine called L'Hirondelle, as in swallow. And I, I guess I was kind of a bit nervous about drinking lots of pints and putting on weight. So I, I hit the wine, and ever since then, you know, I love it. Now I'm amazed that you can walk into any pub in, you know, and get fabulous wines here. Never was the case before. Okay, and um, so you, you started liking wine. How did it develop? Did you like start collecting? Did you start drinking av avariously? Uh, drinking, um, yes, <laughs> drinking a lot. But uh, eventually, you know, I kind of, I, I started going down to France uh, on holidays and uh, with some friends and we went to the Bordeaux region. And it was just probably around about 1980, 81, 82. Well, that's a stellar vintage in itself. A few years, exactly, when we went there. And I think it was probably, let's see, I'd finished a, 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 a film in Africa. So it would have been eight, 1984, September 1984, I think. Anyway, we went down to France. And Anthony Hansen, do you know Anthony Hansen? Anthony Hansen. Haynes Hansen and Clark. Yes, I do actually, yeah. Haynes Hansen and Clark. Anthony Hansen was a friend and he wrote these letters of introduction to all these vineyards. And uh, so we just rolled in and got, you know, red carpet treatment and tasted all this wine. So we ended up buying a lot of 1982 Bordeaux. Wow. And in my enthusiasm, but in my ignorance, I had no idea quite what I was buying. The finest wines known to humanity. You, you were absolutely right. <laughs> I mean, you know, extraordinary wines. But at that time I didn't fully appreciate it. And I thought, well, I've got all this wine sitting in my cellar in Fulham. What do I do? So we kept getting invites to parties. And I pull out a bottle and take it. Circa 1985, 86, 87. So I was taking all this wonderful claret and wasting it and on the other issues and plonking it on the table drinking it but oh. you know plonking it down total waste of time okay and uh, anyway it, it, it uh, I, I learned my lesson I learned my lesson and now uh, you know I, I live in California I have a deep appreciation of California wines which I'd never had before any favorites in particular stags Lee. yeah I love Amazing. stags Lee. Past 23. Uh, yes. Oh my God. You know, we. It's it's something. And also, there's um, there's various little vineyards. Turnbull. Turnbull is a is a small vineyard that I'm on their wine list for every year, and you know, for getting whatever they consider to be the best. And uh, some of their Turnbull cabs are really it's so tiny you wouldn't know, but mm -hmm. fantastic vineyard. Okay. Um, but I also like, you know, the mid coast, that whole region, you know, around San Luis Obispo mm -hmm. and. Uh, yeah, Bonnie uh, Dune, maybe? Or? Yeah, yes, yeah. very much. I mean, there's an area there called Cambria or Cambria. Okay. Which I love. And uh, we go there on a regular basis for a holiday. And we just do that whole wine trip over the, over the mountain and sure. down the other side. It's, 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 a, it's, it's wonderful. Do you have a kind of best wine you've ever drunk, the kind of most sensational wine experience? Yeah, I would yeah. say it was with my friend Julian Sands. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we had what we call the Queen Mum's wine. Um, it was um, it was. Uh, God. <laughs> How about, uh, Where was it from? Was it Bordeaux? Or? Yeah, Bordeaux. Yeah. Okay. And it was the. Um, Oh my God! Why, why am I blanking on this? I don't know. Lafitte, Latour, I don't know. No, Mouton, no, 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 no. Cheval Blanc. Ah, okay. We had a 1948 Cheval Blanc. Actually, 
actually we had two bottles and it was unbelievable and we had was it maybe 47 because that's the really esteemed vintage 47 and 61 I thought it was 48 but dying, okay you no you're, right. you're probably you yeah. might be right <laughs> It, it was intoxicatingly wonderful. Okay. And Jancis Robinson's favourite wine, so you got good taste. Oh, really? Well, yeah. we drank it uh, watching the World Cup final <laughs> uh, in, I think it was, what, what was that, that year? It was 2000 or whatever that World Cup was around then. France won. Yeah. And um, I would say that's the most magnificent wine I've ever tasted. Um, but just the, today, today I, I met a chum down at the Middle Temple for a, a glass of wine at Chez Girard. And I, in four o'clock, it's a hot, sweaty afternoon in London. <laughs> what do I want? I don't want a red wine. I wanted uh, something white, something light. I was thinking Pinot Grigio. And the waiter suggested this amazing Sancerre called Cassie. Q-U-I-N-C-Y, Cassie. Mm -hmm. And it's from a little, it, it's what the French are calling the new Sancerre, and it's from it's a few miles south of the actual Sancerre region. Absolutely delicious, lighter, slightly lighter than the the, the, the Sancerre we know, and just absolutely delicious. Okay. So there we go. And do you have a desert island wine, wine that you aspire to drink or maybe own one day? What would I take to a desert island? Oh my god. Well, it's in the concept of if you could drink any wine, you, you could be offered one wine to take to a desert island. What I would, would it be? I would say um, pretty much any wine that Julian Sands owns. <laughs> He's got good there, taste. There's never a bad wine that man opens. And do you have a wine philosophy? I mean, some people are very much, you know, they hold on to their prize bottles and wait and wait. Are you, are you very much like the occasion is built around the opening of the wine? The, the wine should be drunk. And it's that old expression, if not now, when? So exactly. open the wine, drink it, it's to be enjoyed, it's not to be kept in some, on some shelf forever. My God, no. In vino veritas. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, Neil Dixon, thank you very much. Pleasure. Don't tell your mama.